During the next phase of test implementation and execution, we take the test conditions designed and set them up as tests. We also set up the test environment before we execute these tests. Implementation includes prioritizing our test cases, using the techniques, test approach and create test suites from the test cases for efficient test execution. We make sure the test environment has been set up correctly, possibly even by running specific tests on it. Execution is running the test suites and individual test cases, following our test procedures already defined in above phases. We might do this manually or by using test execution tools, according to the planned sequence. At the end of the execution of each test case, we log the outcome of test execution and record the identities and versions of the software under test, test tools and testware. We need to know what tests we used against which version of the software. We must report defects against specific versions and the test log we keep provide for an audit trail. We then compare actual results, what happened when we ran the tests, with expected results, what we anticipated would happen. Where there are differences between actual and expected results, report discrepancies as incidents. Once the discrepancies have been fixed, we need to repeat test activity to verify if the fix has resolved the discrepancy. We need to re-execute tests that previously failed in order to confirm a fix is working. This is also called as confirmation test or retesting. We also need to test the fix did not introduce defects in unchanged areas of the software and that fixing a defect did not uncover other defects. This is called regression testing. After the end of execution phase, we move into the evaluate phase. In this phase, we gauge the results of test execution against test objective and broadcast the test summary report to stakeholders. We might go back to test execution if the test objectives have not been met and we need to conduct some more testing. Test summary report is a document summarizing test activities and results. It also contains an evaluation of the corresponding test items against exit criteria. When the testing is deemed complete, we move into the test closure phase. In this phase, we perform a check that all deliverables have been accepted and signed off, archive the testware, close the environment and analyze lessons learned, and use the information for improving the test